So I recently had a customer that came in and she had a system key password, which is the startup password when you get into Windows. It's a startup password before you get to login of the Windows. And I'll show you what that startup password looks like here. Okay. Now, normally what happens is this scammer calls and he says, Hey, I'm from Microsoft. i am got to come in and fix your computer. And he'll tell you to go to a website like www.ammyy.com. And it'll have you download this remote app called, let's see here, it'll be this guy here. And this app looks like this. And this is how they get into your computer. And you give them your information and that stuff. And what happens then is they go to your run, go into your system key, and they an encryption enable. And they tell it okay which I'm not going to do and that's when they set up the password for your files now in order to get rid of your startup password you're going to have to use a program something like offline NT password recovery I have one that I use and I'll try to put the ISO up somewhere. I'll give you the link so you can find it. And you can remove it yourself. It's kind of hard, and there's some tutorials on how to do it online. But if you have this issue, it still can be removed. Don't pay the guy $200 to f remove the password. I just have a disk, and I call it Password Remover. I could show you how what it looks like with with that program. Okay, this is what I have. You can go to this website here and I'm sure you'll be able to download the file. And what happens It'll load all this stuff. Tell it to go to your boot one. I know I'm going to just hit enter. Let it do it on its own. I hit enter here for the system32 config directory. And what you're going to do, you're going to go into uh, password reset. And then you're going to go to this key status and change. You're going to tell it to. And it's going to pop this message up. And at this point, you can tell it yes. But I'm going to tell it no for this one. Because I've already done it. And then you can tell it quit. And if it says you want to do a new run, tell it no. And see, when you restart your computer, Go into safe mode by hitting F8, and your administrator account will be there. All you have to do is hit enter. And if you have to change your password for your user account, you can do it that way. Otherwise, your computer should start back up normal, and you can log in with your regular password. So, hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.